I recently concluded the Super Famicom game Gummin's Proof on my Twitch channel. I became aware of this game's existence when I saw a short video from SNES Drunk about Japanese RPG games for the Super Famicom that were worth checking out. If you haven't seen the video for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. I was initially drawn to this game since he described it as being a really funny Zelda-like action RPG that caused him to laugh out loud on more than one occasion. It also has a lot of graphical similarities to both A Link to the Past and A Minish Cap, two games from the Zelda franchise that I thoroughly enjoy. So I decided to check it out. What I found in Gunman's Proof, or Gunpuru Gunman's Proof, is a charming, albeit short, action RPG game that quickly won my heart. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find anything online that explains why this game was never released outside of Japan, and I really won't speculate any more about it, so we'll leave it alone. While there's really not much to this game, it does provide an interesting and quirky storyline about Demi, a space outlaw who's hiding on Earth. He's now causing mayhem for a small 19th century Wild West American community. Hot on his trail are two alien law enforcers who just want to capture and bring Demi to justice. In short, Space Sheriff Zero is forced to possess our hero's body in order to continue his pursuit of the vile Demi and his gang of outlaws. Our now-possessed hero must now seek out and recover eight Demi-seed crests hidden within various dungeons that are scattered around the island so that Demi can be captured and his evil monsters can be removed from the surrounding areas. Along the way, you can pick up upgrades and special abilities that will help you later on in the game. I really don't want to spoil this game for anyone who does decide to try it out, so I'll leave the rest of it alone. But be assured that there are some quirky dialogue and interesting aspects to be found in this game. Make sure you explore every area of the map, though, as you can pick up a few hidden bonus items from the blue treasure chests that are scattered all over the place. I will say that the team that translated this game into English did a wonderful job of capturing that Wild West spirit. And since I don't speak or read Japanese, I really can't comment on how accurate it is to the original dialogue found in the game. Loose copies of this game are available on Amazon and eBay for a reasonable, if not slightly higher than comfortable price. You can also find English patched reproduction cartridges online for similar prices. But if you want a reproduction complete box and manual set, be prepared to shell out a little bit more. You can also just play the English patched game via emulation at no cost. Regardless of how you end up playing it, what awaits you is a fun, action-packed, and overall shorter than it should be adventure that will most certainly become one of your favorites. For Wrong With A View, this is Emmett. Happy gaming. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. For Wrong With A View, this is Emmett. Happy gaming.